I've been in the process of building this truck for about four years now and it's turned out very nice. I think it's an awesome truck. It's performed great. Love the way that it looks. But I've learned a lot along the way. There are certain things that I would do the same and there are things that I would do differently. In today's video, I want to give you guys a rundown on how I would have done this build differently if I were to start over today. The third generation Tacoma is available in three different body configurations. You can get it as an access cab long bed, a double cab short bed, or this double cab long bed. When I bought it, I really debated between the double cab short bed and the long bed. Landed on the long bed for two reasons. One is I felt like it looked a little bit better proportionally, which I waver back and forth on. If you look at the length of the truck from the front to the rear of the rear doors, and you compare that length with the bed, I feel like this looks more proportional than the short bed. But at the same time, with the double cab long bed, you've got a really long wheelbase and it's a pretty skinny truck. So in some ways I feel like the proportionality is off as well. But the six foot bed is also a lot more usable and it's come in really handy over the last several years. Now, despite the fact that, you know, I like the way it looked more early on, in some ways I still kind of do, the bed's a lot more usable. I also do a lot of off-roading with the truck. And I think if I were to do it over again, I probably would have gone with the short bed. I went with the TRD off-road and I've got zero regrets about that decision. The Tacoma is available in a number of other different trim packages. They've got the base SR, then the SR5, TRD Sport and the TRD off-road, the limited package and the TRD Pro. There was a short period where I kind of wished I would have gone with the TRD Pro, but as time has progressed, I've really come to decide that the TRD off-road is the way to go. Unless you want to buy a truck that is 100% set, good to go, then maybe the TRD Pro is the way to go. It does have a nice shock upgrade, a few other uh, little touches, but you pay a lot more for the TRD Pro and you don't really get that much more for your money. I would much rather start off with a TRD off-road and use that savings to make additional upgrades. My truck is beautiful today. It's got a really nice deep shine to it, but that's because it's clean and it's freshly waxed. If I were to do it over again, I would definitely not go with black. Actually, this will probably be the last vehicle that I buy in black, certainly the last truck that I buy in black because it always looks dirty and it shows all of the imperfections. It's a terrible color if you want to go out into the woods and do off-roading, which I do all the time because it's so vulnerable to scratching. We've got a white 4Runner and that in comparison, I really feel like I can be a lot less cautious with if you've got some bushes brushing it or some sticks or whatever. It's not a big deal. You might get some surface scratches, but they're really not all that visible. With the black, it is hugely visible. If I were to do it over again, I would probably go with either the Cavalry Blue or the Cement. I think that those two colors are absolutely awesome. Maybe not the best when it comes to scratch resistance either. I'd say that white's the way to go in that regard, but those colors are absolutely awesome. And I think they would still be better than the black when it comes to looking clean and being scratch resistant. Up front here, you can see I've got the TRD Pro Faux Grill, like many other Tacoma owners out there. I think that the majority of Tacomas actually have this Pro Grill rather than one of the other grills. At least it seems that way where I live. And it looks pretty good. It's got that classic Toyota look to it. Uh, certainly upgrade from the chrome grill that my truck had on it when it was new. But I think if I were to do it over again, I'd probably go with one of the newer TRD off-road grills. Uh, I've had a couple different styles that I think look really cool. And one thing I'm not real crazy about with the faux grill is that we've got um, water spots. So you can see we've got hard water here, the little white spots on there. So this is actually clean and it just shows kind of these mineral deposits on the grill. So hard to get it clean looking. And I think I would have gone with one of the newer TRD off-road grills if I did it again. If you look real close, you can see I've got a hidden winch hiding behind the front bumper. Highly recommend a winch if you do any off-roading in the snow. Sometimes it is the only way to get yourself unstuck. It has saved me many times. There was one time that it didn't when the winch exploded. That was unfortunate. But most of the time it's come in very handy. Highly recommend it again. Um, as much as I've been pleased with the hidden winch, and I love the fact that it maintains the stock look on the front of the truck, I think that if I did it over again, I'd probably go with a low profile bumper that just replaces this plastic piece on the front of the bumper with a metal bumper. Um, you know, the hidden winch doesn't solve the fact that you still got a cheap plastic bumper up here on the front. And that also kind of conceals the fact that you made the modification at all. I feel like the low profile bumper is subtle. It maintains that fairly stock look, but at the same time gives it that kind of more heavy duty off-road look that you don't get with the stock bumper. Now I've been through a few lift iterations on the Tacoma. I started out with a two inch rough country spacer in the front and a one inch toy tech block in the rear. Overall, I was actually pretty pleased with that setup, but if you're gonna go to the trouble of making an upgrade in terms of suspension, it's a lot of work just for the labor. And I think the Bilstein 5100s, maybe the Bilstein 6112s in the front with 5100s in the back is the way to go. You're getting an upgraded shock with better travel. Um, you're gonna 
have an improved ride with those 5100s. And I just think it's worth that additional money over doing the spacer and block lift. I did end up upgrading to an Icon Stage 2 lift on the Tacoma. And if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you'll know that that setup has been less than desirable. It's really changed the handling on the truck, made it a lot stiffer than I like. And then my uh, front shock on the driver's side actually failed after less than 2,000 miles. So I spent you know $2,000 on this lift kit, it failed and I had to redo it again. So um, that was my one time with Icon shocks after having that fail and then also the customer service was pretty bad. I'm gonna be done with them. I've done Bilstein 5100s on my 4Runner, 6112s and 5100s on the FJ, had zero issues. They're a much more affordable product. They're still really high quality, great travel, uh, great handling. So definitely I would recommend going the Bilstein 5100s, maybe the 6112s in the front. And then as far as lift height, uh, I've been through a few different iterations with that as well. Currently what I've got is basically about two and a quarter to two and a half inches of lift in the front. And then at the rear, I've got a one and a half inch uh, add a leaf, but I'm pretty sure it didn't lift the truck one and a half inches. So I added in a one inch block. So in theory, I've got a two and a half inch lift in the rear. I don't buy it. I'd say that it's probably more like one and a half to two inches. So I'd say two and a quarter to two and a half and one and a half to two inches in the rear. Now my Tacoma is the 2016 model. So it's the first year of the third generation. And this is as fully loaded as you can get for the TRD off-road. They do have the limited model, which comes more heavily loaded. And then of course the TRD Pro came later with a lot more features. Unfortunately for 2016, the TRD off-road didn't come with leather seats. And that's the thing that I dislike the most about the interior on this truck. Uh, it's got a cheap fabric, not particularly comfortable. It doesn't really clean all that well either. So I would have definitely preferred to get leather seating. It wasn't an option again for me at the time, but if I were to get a newer third generation Tacoma, highly recommend that you go with the leather. And then as far as other features, highly recommend just going with the top end features with the exception of the JBL audio system. It is garbage. Recommend that in place of the JBL system, you get the stock system and then do the OEM audio plus uh, speaker upgrade. You're going to get much better sound quality for less money. Uh, heated seats, recommend those. Uh, we've got the blind spot monitoring, which is nice. The parking sensors are nice. Uh, the wireless charging, which I don't have a phone that does wireless charging, but that would be really nice if I did. Uh, we've got the sunroof up top, and then of course being the TRD off-road, we've got all this gadgetry as well. So recommend going with a top-end model with leather seating, skip the JBL audio system. I bought my Tacoma used, and I was originally planning on getting a canopy. This truck had the factory tonneau cover, and it was a huge selling point for me because it saved me the price of buying that canopy, and it still keeps things dry, locked in the bed. And if I want to do truck-like things, it's really easy to remove this tonneau cover to do that. That would have been harder with a canopy. Trying to remove a canopy and you know take it on and off is not something that you want to do on a regular basis. But I do that with this all the time. Obviously, you know the factory cover is a great option. They're very expensive, so I'm sure there's plenty of good aftermarket covers out there as well. But this is something that I would highly recommend. In addition to the tonneau cover, I've got the KB Voodoo bed bars, and these are pretty sweet because they work with this cover. So I can still keep the cover on there and add additional storage space up here on top if you want to do bike racks or you know transport a small kayak or put your uh, rooftop tent on the back. You can do that with these bed bars. Still have the tonneau cover to keep things dry and locked inside. And then the other cool thing about these bars is that these are just screws that you can screw off and you can lift up the bar, remove it quite easily to access the tonneau cover, open that up and get things inside of the bed. If I were gonna do wheels again, absolutely no doubt that I would do these VTX Rogues again. I think they are the perfect look for the Tacoma. I love the profile. I think I'd probably do black again, although they also do gunmetal, which looks really nice too. They've got a minus 10 offset, which gives it a really nice aggressive look. That's why my tires are sticking out a little bit shy of the fenders. And I've just been more than pleased with them. They've held up very well, continue to look very new today, and they just give the truck that pop. I've also been very pleased with my tires. These are the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax, and I like them so much that I even put a set on my FJ Cruiser and my 4Runner. These are a 285 70R17 tire size, and these are the size that I would go with, again, if I did this all over. And here's a feature that should come stock from the factory. Hood struts. And not just hood struts, but extra long hood struts. These are from Spiker Engineering. I'll put a link to them in the description below if you want to check them out. 
These have been a fantastic upgrade. Makes it so much easier when you open up the hood compartment. You just have the hood open up the rest of the way. You're not lifting up the extremely heavy hood that you've got on the Tacoma and then propping it open with this short little kickstand. So that's been a great upgrade. And I also mentioned I've got the TRD off-road, which doesn't come with a hood scoop, but I've got a hood scoop. So this was an aftermarket ad and gives it that TRD Sport Pro Pop, but I still get all the features of the off-road. So that's been a great upgrade. Uh, link to this hood is in the description below. Two other quick things. I basically upgraded all of the LED lighting. I'll put links to all of these products in the description below, but it is a super easy way to upgrade your truck, improve light quality. It looks so much better with that white bright light. Uh, these fog lights in particular are really cool because they're switched back between white and amber. Not all that expensive to make these upgrades either, and they take minutes to do. So highly recommend doing LED lighting upgrades. I've done the low beams, the high beams, the fog lights, the uh, side indicator lights. We did the backup lights, and I don't remember if there were any others. But again, all of them are in the description below. I've been really pleased with those upgrades. And last but not least, my exhaust tip. I hate stock exhaust on the Tacoma. It looks so cheap. You've got this beautiful truck and you've got this cheap looking piece of metal sticking out the back, making noise, drawing your attention. This is a super easy upgrade. Looks so much better. This is the Toyota um, exhaust tip. I'll put a link to it in the description below as well. Um, I've got it in chrome, but you can also get it in black and the black looks good too. Just a nice, cheap, easy way to upgrade your truck, make it look better. Doesn't change the sound, doesn't change the performance, but it's a nice upgrade. So there you go. Uh, links to all of these products are in the description below for you to check out. So there you go, that's a look at my Tacoma, the things that I would do the same if I were to build it again, and the things that I would do differently. Love to get your guys' comments in the section below. For more Toyota videos, be sure to subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching.